my first guest has not stopped rising since the day she made history in 1993 when she became the second ever black woman to be crowned Miss USA. Kenya Moore. Kenya says taking home that title confirmed to her that anything was possible. In fact, in an interview, Kenya once said, I knew in that moment everything that my grandmother taught me to dream I could achieve. Now, the first time Kenya was here with the Tam fam, that was in 2019, with her new husband, Mark Daly. Now, at the time, Kenya shared how marriage and motherhood had changed her. But just three days after she sat with me on this set, news broke that her marriage was over. Kenya told People Magazine, due to recent and ongoing circumstances, I can no longer continue in the marriage. Then last spring, Kenya shared with Entertainment Tonight, quote, I think where I went wrong in my marriage is that I lost my voice, is that I thought that I had to be a different kind of person to make a marriage work. Someone that says yes and doesn't speak up and just goes along to get along, and that is completely false. Well, in the last year, Kenya has been very busy reclaiming her voice, resetting her life, and putting herself first. And she's also taking a big leap of faith from the glam world to being the star of a show that is testing her mental and physical toughness. It's a new reality show that is grueling, it is extreme. It's called Special Forces, and Kenya and her co-stars endure the elite challenges used to test the strength and intensity of actual U.S. Special Forces. Take a look. Keep going, nice and slow. Keep going. My biggest fear is heights, extreme heights. However, I have a poker face. Stand by. Right, take the strain now. Tighter. Hands on your head. <laughs> go. Let go. Yes. Break, 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 break! Well done. She was fearless, no emotion. Whoa! I've never seen that clip! Let's bring her out. Welcome to the TFM, Kenya about that clip so many <laughs> I, my, i'm still shaking yes I, my heart was pounding watching it That's, yes okay so a tamarindal interview is not scary now after that uh, yes <laughs> yes i know right yes, are you gonna no, get me to cry i know i got <laughs> I, first i gotta talk about i say our baby yes brooklyn oh yes what yes this? my baby <laughs> is adorable isn't she big now I can't believe it yeah she, she just turned four she just turned four in november yes and they say it goes fast Yes, I'm literally every day I'm looking at baby pictures when she was crawling and like on, with her little pacifier in her mouth and now like she's telling me what to do. She's the boss of me. How do you describe her personality? M mini me. Really? <laughs> yes. She's, you know, she's very um, oh. opinionated, but she's so kind. She has so much empathy for people. She's compassionate. Like, she's just, I want to say she's perfect. She is. Like, she she's is. incredible. We spent the holidays together. I spent it with my best friend. And we went to an island, and she got, like, massages on the beach. Oh, God. And <laughs> she was so pampered, but yeah. we were just having the greatest time. I didn't want it to end. I know. You know, That's you so don't. I, I still wake up looking at my son, and I, I can't believe your He's mind. So I can't believe your mind. Yes. Um, when you were here the last time, I just had the baby. The show yes. was starting. Yes. You come on the show with Mark. Yes. And I tell you, there are certain shows, I'll be very honest, that haunt me to this day. Oh. Yours is one of them. Yeah. Because you were here on the set. Um, you were talking about love with Mark. Let me play the clip. Ugh. I think my prayers were answered when I met my husband. Yeah. At 46, I met the love of my life. Yeah. Well, I want to bring the love of <laughs> your life, Kenya's darling husband, Mark and baby Brooklyn. Yes, Let's baby Let's meet Brooklyn. them all. Come on. <laughs> Just being there, being supportive, kind of being hopeful and being uh, just positive and just being behind her was what it's all about. Oh, sorry. It was, that's okay. 
So we taped that show. That was actually the very first show. My baby even appeared on the show. Yes. So we were there with our babies. <laughs> Three days after that, I got my phone and it was, they're divorcing, they're breaking yeah. up. I text you, said, are you okay? Yeah. Or something to that and effect. And I appreciated that. And, uh, but I was like, did something happen backstage? What no. happened? We were having problems and there was always this hope that we could get over it, you know, that we could go to counseling and that it could be better. And doing your show was like a highlight of our lives because it was the first time he was like really supportive of me. Our whole family was together. And when we got back to Atlanta, we did a filming for Real Housewives and it was like this huge event that we had put a lot of energy into. And it was a struggle just to like work through our differences even during the show. And a lot of it was exposed, just how we weren't getting along or we weren't on the same page. Or as I said before, I just felt like my voice was stifled a lot because I felt like I had to be a certain kind of person and wife to get along with him and his personality. And that's not what a marriage is about. So when you walked out the doors, and of course I've now watched the clip a million times looking mm -hmm. for signs. Mm -hmm. And there was one point in it, he says something about supporting you and you looked down. And I did like that. You did yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. I said, and my producer said, that was the tale. Yeah. Were his words not ringing true or was what you presented to us not real? No, everything that I do is real. However, it was just, it's up and down. He supported me in my business at times but he never supported me when it came to the show. In fact, in the beginning, he refused to film. But I mean, is that a bad thing? Because listen, it's people go on the thing. show and then their marriage is in or they yeah. end up in jail. That's why I'll never go right, on one right. of the shows. <laughs> right. But I could see how a, a person, man or woman, would enter that world and say, I signed up for Kenya. I don't right. know if I want to be on this. So is that a bad thing? Well, it was the way in which he could have supported me. Okay. Um, and that never happened. Um, I protected him as much as I could. I protected our marriage as much as I could. But there were signs in the very beginning before he ever stepped foot on the shore that wow. was never an issue. In fact, I was very adamant about telling the producers, I'm not going to put him on the show. If that's something that he doesn't want to do and it'll affect our relationship in a negative way, I said no. But it was the other stuff that yeah. was going on. So fast it forward, because I, I mean, he's not here and you know we don't like yeah. to go back and, and forth on these things. But where you are now, I was struck by the fact that you've said that you are not co-parenting right now. I know that you struggle. Well, we're trying. We're okay, trying. Okay, so you're now yeah. trying. Because that hurt me too, because I know how much you adore Brooklyn. Yeah. And I know that you've been open with your fans and with us yes. about your childhood, being yes. raised by your grandmother and trying to reconcile with your mother. Yes. Family means everything. Everything and to Brooklyn me. is your family. Yes. And so what's going on? And I'm very protective of my daughter. And that's, you know, that's her dad. Yeah. And he has been there in terms of speaking to her on FaceTime every day, but the fact of like seeing her in person has not been there. And that breaks my heart because I don't want that for her. And even though now that's her normal, but I don't want that to be her normal. And um, I know. So we, we, we're trying, yeah, you're we're trying. trying. You've also, and, and you know, I don't like to go in these dark mm -hmm. spaces. Mm -hmm. You have though been open with your fans about even the prenup aspect of it. Yeah. As a successful woman, yes. financially independent, that you broke your own rule, if you will, about I always prenup. say prenup for everyone because it protects both parties. I used to date an agent, an NBA uh, agent, and he would see all of these guys, you know, that made $100 million and then they get married and then it was taken away. So he would always tell me, you know, prenups protect. He would show me the prenups and I understood it. But when it came to my marriage, I, I said I wanted prenup. He was adamant about not having one. And um, yeah, I regret not having one because my divorce right now is taking over. It's still pending. <laughs> still pending over two years now because we didn't have a prenup. We said 2023, 2020 me. Yes. A lot of people um, will wonder how do you reset when the past is still tethering you? Mm -hmm. and you're living in these two versions. We are moving yeah. forward. Um, but something's holding you back. Not, nothing can hold you back. Right, or trying something to. Something is trying to. Yes. Um, 
how do you say, I have to focus on me, mm -hmm. make sure Brooklyn is healthy, but not be tethered to the past and, and celebrate this new reset? How have yes. you tried to do that? For me, it's all about my responsibility being kind. If someone is not being kind to you, I meet that with kindness, especially in my, in, in my situation with my ex. Um, and for me, I was going through this. I wasn't dating. I wasn't entertaining anyone. I wasn't going out. I was just at home with Brooklyn all the time. And it's like, you know, she's always like, Mom, go out with your friends. Like, she's she so says smart. that at yes. four? Like, she's like, ma'am, I'm tired of you. Yes. I've got Coco Melon. I'm going to play go. with this one. Can I have a play date? Can I have a sleepover? I'm like, you don't want to hang out with me? So oh. I just, I, I felt like 2023 is the new year of me. Yeah. And I'm going to date. Like, I, you're dating. It's, yes. So it's like put in my little baby toe in, you know, nothing serious, but at least like a drink or dinner or lunch, just someone to laugh with or make you feel beautiful or tell you that, you know, yeah. you're an amazing person. And that's what I have missed.